a little while ago I did a video about how to keep or how to get barbers into your barbershop. And I saw a really interesting comment. I thought it was a really good point where a gentleman said, hold on, airplane fly up. Okay, it's good to see the planes back up in the sky. Huh? Well, it was an interesting point and I thought I would address it. I had addressed it in the comments, but I thought, you know what, this is a good idea to make a video for. The comment was, basically my video was about how to get barbers and training those barbers. If you haven't seen, I don't want to go through the whole histrionics of the whole video. Um, you can watch it, um, how to get barbers for your shop. But one of the comments was made that, you know, why open a barbershop where you need other people? Why not just work for yourself? Um, that's a great idea to, hello. That's a great idea to do that. Um, but I think that it's important to take into consideration that you're there for your customers and, and Warren Buffett said it best, like you wanna delight your customers, right? In every way you can. And I don't always meet that criteria, but I know that it's, that it's necessary and I'm working towards that goal. And one of the things about delighting your customers is being available, right? You as one individual can only cut so many people. And if you have other barbers in there, you're not turning as many people away. You're, you're able to take more clients. They're able to come in. And so that's why I, I say it's really good to have a crew. Another thing that's great about having a, a decent crew is it allows you uh, time out of the shop to do other things for the shop. Your Instagram page, your YouTube channel, your building your products, your um, liaison with, with, with other people. Maybe you want to participate in some sort of um, contest or maybe you want to do some education outside of working in your shop i think that you know having a crew is a, is great for that in addition to that um i would also say that having a crew means that you all work for each other so like if one of my guys is not in and i'm there there's always someone there to greet their customer to take their to take that phone call to, uh, we do have online booking system now, but still, people still want to call. Sometimes people walk through and they might say, yo, is, is Antonio there? Is Jerome there? If Jerome can't be there because he had to go to, to pick his kid up from school, his shop is still open. If you're the only person running your shop, that's okay. I'm just saying, like, this message is, was intended for people who are in, have sort of my style of thinking in that you want to have your barbershop open as much as possible. We operate our shop primarily seven days a week. Periodically, we will close on Sundays um, for, for a short period of time to regroup. But we're open from eight to eight, Monday through Friday. Eight to six on Saturdays and 10 to two on Sundays. Hold on, another airplane. We're open eight to eight, Monday through Friday, eight to six on Saturdays and 10 to two on Sundays, sometimes 10 to three or four. So granted, yes, I did work those hours. I worked those hours for a long time. However, if you plan on doing anything else outside of cutting hair, that can be quite a big strain on your relationships with your family, your relationships with you, with yourself. So yeah, I agree, like go hard, I did it and I do it off and on. Sometimes you'll see me going in um, but occasionally I need to step back and I need to take a look at what's going on and I need to restructure. And if you don't have a team that you can do that with, then it can be detrimental to your customer, not just you, but you and your customer. When you need to uh, go look and maybe you need to move, maybe you have to move for some reason, you gotta go look for an apartment or you gotta go to meet somebody about an apartment. You can't even leave your shop without your shop closing. You know what I mean? So like when people say, oh, I'll just open up a barbershop by myself. I don't need anybody. It's like, yeah, that's cool. That's great. If you want to do that, fine. I got nothing against it. I might do that one day too. But um, I have to say that there are definitely some great benefits to having a team and also sharing your knowledge and, and getting other people into the industry who will also share their knowledge and build a community of barbers that have integrity, um, have good customer service, have a passion for the craft. I mean, myself, I'm also a musician, so, and I have my own products. Luckily, I have my wife to partner up with a lot of this stuff, but 
um, the team plays a major role in it. Like without the team um, from from the beginning all the way up till now, there would be no. It, it wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to do my music as as uh, frequently as I do. I wouldn't be able to buy the equipment to build my own studio to start independently. And I'm too old to look for a record deal. Um, and I'm too old, frankly, to be standing on my feet for, you know, 13 hours every day. Like it ain't gonna work for me. So that's why I made that statement. Um, and I should have I should have tagged you in the um, in the comments or whatever. Um, I should have got your name so I could have tagged you. But yeah, man. I see your point, but I'm telling you, like, having a team plays a major role in this success. And anybody you see, man, like, I don't see any super major successful person that is doing it completely on their own. I just don't see it, you know? If you find them, you show them to me.